With the death of the Archdemon, the Blight was defeated. But the Darkspawn did not simply disappear. Most of the Horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. And there, fractured into warring tribes. The region fell into chaos as the Darkspawn emerged from hidden lands to terrorize the countryside. As the new Warden Commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the Order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. The lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no Wardens here to greet us? Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! <laughs> It's you, the hero of Ferelden. Oh, thank the Maker. There was someone right behind me. A mage. He might have been a warden, I don't know. All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these... You need to help them. You need to do something. I think there was a mage right behind me. He might have been a warden, I don't know. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. We don't have a lot of time, Commander. Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the Keep. My name is Myri. I was a knight in the King's service until I was recruited a month ago, but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't understand. Varel the Seneschal. He is the Keep Steward, I believe, working for the Wardens. Right, let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. Unbelievable. The Keep has been overwhelmed. How did the Wardens not sense the Darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. Not many. A dozen, perhaps? There are other soldiers who came with them, however. For the Dark Spawn to have ambushed the Keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. Y y yes, Commander. I'll try. Uh, I didn't do it. Hey, I recognize you from the circle. I, I, I know what they've been saying about me, but this, not my doing. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Oh, I know, I know. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me, I'm just so picky. You may call me Anders, my dear lady. I am a mage and, sadly, a wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. That's what they call someone who doesn't believe in being chained up in the tower, so yes, I suppose I am. The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Isn't it, though? The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Well, tell you what, I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later. Later, once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? Oh, we're scared now! Don't come over here! Ha! It'll take more than that to kill us, beasties! Come again if you dare! Ha! Uh -huh.
There you are! <laughs> when these darkspawn showed up, I thought, just you wait until the new commander gets here and you'll all be spitting teeth out of your arses. Followed the screaming, and sure enough, here you are. Good on ya! Doubting your eyes, huh? <laughs> I get like that after the fifth bottle or so. Came here thinking I might try my hand at becoming a bona fide Grey Warden. <laughs> he was here when I left. I can't believe the Wardens didn't kick him out. Well, hey, if it isn't the recruit with a great rack. Yes, a prize for the Wardens, to be sure. I know, I know. Too good to be true, right? <laughs> hey, who's the mage? Boyfriend? Should I leave you two alone? Wow, a dwarf that smells like a brewery. You never see that anywhere. <laughs> A mage comedian. Thought those normally died young. I find that hard to believe. As do I. Now, let's go introduce some dark spawn arses to my foot. Only polite thing to do. Get off my back. <laughs> Myrie? Roland! Commander, Roland was a knight recruited from Denerim like me. We must do something for him. He looks beyond healing magic. Maybe a shot of whiskey for the pain? I like the way you think. Stop joking! This isn't funny! The... the... the commander? We only had a moment's warning. Before they were on us, commander. The Seneschal ordered a counterattack, but they came out of nowhere. This one with them. A dark spawn who talks. Ah, his magic is powerful! A talking darkspawn? The lad must be delirious. <laughs> There's something in my blood! Ah, it hurts! What? But... It's okay, Myri. I'm not getting better. It was an honor to meet you, Commander. I wish I could have fought at your side. Just... once. I will avenge you, Roland. I swear it. It has ended, just as he foretold. Be taking this one gently. We are wishing no more death than is necessary. Necessary? As if your kind has ever done anything else. You are thinking you know of our kind, human? It is understandable. But that will soon be changed. Others will come, creature. They will stop you. There it is. It seems your words be true. More than you are guessing. It is talking. Well, let's shut it up already. Commander. Capture the Grey Warden. These others, they may be killed. Commander, I owe you my life. Hmm. Soldiers on the road. It seems we have more company. Hopefully, they're more hospitable than our previous guests. It looks like I've arrived a bit late. Too bad. I rather miss the whole Darkspawn killing thing. King Alistair. I'd wanted to come and give the Wardens a formal welcome. I certainly wasn't expecting this. What's the situation? What Darkspawn remained have fled, Your Majesty. The Grey Wardens who had arrived from Orlais appear to be either dead or missing. Missing? As in taken by the Darkspawn? Do they even do that? I do not know, Your Majesty. I know only that we cannot account for all the Wardens. I see. And are you all right, love? You weren't hurt in the battle, were you? 
That's a bit of an understatement, isn't it? Ah, uh, you have quite the task ahead of you. Really, I'd like to help you fight, Darkspawn, but you're on your own for the moment. Hey, what am I? Chop nug livers? From the smell, that's not a bad guess. I came here to join the Grey Wardens, and from the looks of it, you could use the extra hands. Now where's the giant cup? I'll gargle and spit! Ha! Well smack my ass and call me Sally! I'm in! I... suppose all are welcome in this dire time. Joining the Wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that! King Alistair! Your Majesty, beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the Dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we are in the process of bringing back to the Circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me, anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless you have something to add, Commander. What? Never! I believe the Grey Warden still retain the right of conscription, no? I will allow it. If... If your Majesty feels it is best. Ha! <laughs> Way to go, kid! Welcome aboard! Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. Then if you have everything under control, I will need to take my leave. I believe the estate has been secured, yes. We have suffered great losses, but the Darkspawn are gone, and there are survivors. Oh, excuse my manners. I am Veril, Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, and I am most grateful for your timely rescue, Commander. I will aid you in ruling the lands of Amaranthine. Some of the soldiers and vigil staff survived, but none of the Orlesian Wardens made it. Come and speak to me soon. There are many matters to attend to, not the least of which is the joining. You will need to replenish your numbers. I hate having to ask you to do this, love. It'd be so much more interesting to keep you at court. Such a temptress. Sadly, I need to deal with the trouble in the Benorn. But I will return as soon as I am able, I promise. It will be up to you to deal with the vestiges of the Blight before the situation grows out of control. No easy task, but I'm confident you are up to it. Now, let me say a quick goodbye before I change my mind. Before we do anything else, Commander, there's an urgent matter we must take care of. Right now, I know of only one living Warden assigned to all of Ferelden. That should be rectified. The others could aid you considerably. As you wish, Commander. The time has come for us to begin the joining. I shall speak the words that have been said since the first. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand, vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day, we shall join you. From this moment forth, Agron, you are a Grey Warden. What's this, the sampler size? Are you trying to say something about my height? Huh? This is the goblet we've always used. Really? <laughs> Not bad. Make her help us all. From this moment forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. 
But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. He lives, Commander, and will awaken in time. From this moment forth, Myri, you are a Grey Warden. I have awaited this moment. <coughs> I am sorry, Myri. May the Maker watch over you. Poor oh, Myri. Open the doors! The commander must be informed about the Deep Road's entrance. It could be their base of operation. You'd have the Wardens chase a rumor then, Captain. And even if it proves true, unless the Pilgrim's path is cleared by the time your army assembles, they'll have nothing to eat but shoe leather. Garavel, Woolsey, the commander has had a long day. Woolsey says some merchants escaped the Darkspawn. They can reprovision you for a reasonable fee. And the vigil is yours. Take whatever weapons and armor you need. We'll be waiting when you're ready. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Christoph was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. He did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the Wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? As much as you like, sir. Generally, the Keep's Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari Barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Commander? This is Sir Garavel, the new Captain of the Guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, Wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. I can explain. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claim to have stumbled across an entrance to the Deep Roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Commander. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. That is... disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. I talked with the Dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the keep itself. The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. 
Good day, Commander. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not wise harped itself. I am from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. It is the road here from Denerim. You can see why it would be important. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, at great personal risk. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. No, it is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed, but their like will never be seen again. Very well, Commander. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. You have time to talk about the Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. I don't know, but no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface either. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. No one knows. The Vigil's always been here. Since the Barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? You heard the Commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it... First hand. Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you? You're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, well, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Aye, the Elysian lads would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. 
With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. Commander, the Ancestors favor us indeed. This is a Dwarven Barrier Door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Lieges and vassals are seldom of one mind, Commander. Some of these Lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Micker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck... And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbreck, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Edelbreck can't defend his own lands, so he asks the commander to save him. I admit my lands are ravaged and fortunes diminished, but it's my grain that fills Amaranthine's belly. Thank you, my liege. 
I see that Lord Edelbrecht wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, said Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. Not bleeding likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. You need to head to the city then, and chase down a ghost. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Looking for some company, honey pie. I'm always available for riveting conversations with fine women. I like a woman who's all business. <laughs> I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> Would have been more useful to find gold deposits. Oh, will you stop your belly aching? Well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. Oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the darkspawn appeared. Uh, more than a brood and less than a horde. They seemed occupied, like they had some place really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the Maker. The Darkspawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, we getting anything for our trouble? Thanks. This'll get me good and drunk at the inn. Take my mind off the trouble out there. My pardon, sir. I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to you. I told him I did. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. 
Of course, Commander. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. Thank you. I will make this quick. What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. Any luck with the smugglers? That house has been locked up for years. To think that all this time it's been hiding the entrance. There will surely be someone on guard. Where there's a guard, there's a key. If you can find a way into the hideout, the smugglers won't have a chance. Good luck, Commander. Anything to report? The city of Amaranthi owes you a great debt. Thank you, Commander. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here. I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Excuse my haste, but this is rather an urgent matter. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and uh, there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant Skill will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators, but to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Corrupt miserly nobles have beggared many a proud commoner. Some commoners turn to distasteful occupations just to survive. Is it not fitting that they would want to strike back in the only way they're able? It will be done. Give me some time. Doors busted down, skulls thumped, and vices preyed upon. But I have answers. I could not unearth the conspirators' identities. They are paranoid. But I know they meet at Old Stark's farm on the Ferival Plains. It was a mistake to ever trust you. I won't go quietly. Something I can do for you, friend. And who are you supposed to be that's asking? Oh, welcome, my lady. Haven't seen that fellow Christoph for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Not much. He chatted up Saoirse a bit when she brought him his dinner, maybe talk to her. Of course, here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head.
out of my way. I need to get out of here. No, you don't understand. She's after me. Nothing. We heard about the caravan attacks, but it wasn't us, I swear. We just thought there would be valuables left behind, but then... Make her help me. She's here. Gotta get away. Another scavenger here to prey on the misfortunes of others? No, you are too well armed. Here for me, then. You will not drive me from these forests. The Shems could not do it, the Darkspawn could not, and you will fare no better. Oh, you're here to battle the Darkspawn, then. Fair enough. Should you encounter any merchant caravans, tell them to release my sister or more of their men will die. Now go, deal with your Darkspawn, and stay out of my way. Consider this a warning. Don't look. Don't look at me. Olaf, my name. Came with friends to to drive out away the elf, but the dark spawn were too quick. We were ripped apart, biting claws and teeth from the darkness, and then I woke, flesh and bone and gristle under me, around me. Everyone Dead. Dead soft meat melting into the ground. I... I crawled away. Came here. Can't stand to see it. Sister? I have a sister. Do I? Elf sister? No. We did not take her. Probably dead. Or eaten. No. No, Darkspawn came first. They slaughtered us, took our steel, brought it to the elven camp, tricked us, tricked the elf. Now, she thinks we are to blame. Hunts all in her rage while they watch. So all these people died over a misunderstanding? Maker, that's horrible. We have to stop her. Tell her she's wrong. If we search the woods more thoroughly, we might be able to find her again. The Dark Ones are curious about you, too. They watch you as well as her. Can you feel them? I'm already dead. I'm already gone. Make... make an end. Please. Still here! I told you to stay away from me! I warned you! This place is not for you! We have nothing to talk about! Stop hounding me! Me alive. I will not go with you to some Shemlin magistrate. I won't bow to their rules. <laughs> Talk. What? The Darkspawn are mindless. It is not possible. They should never have come here in the first place. If they had just left us alone, all this would never have happened. 
If it wasn't the humans who killed my people and took Sarani, are you saying the Darkspawn did it? Why would the Darkspawn do this? Are you saying Sarani will become one of them? I will not allow that! I've survived on my own before. Do you doubt me? You? You want to find Sarani? Why? Then I pledge my magic to your cause. Great. Another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. My name is Valana, if you care for such things. Do you know where the Dark Spawn might dwell? There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the Dark Spawn there. The Grey Wardens. Do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. Rest. done anything. I'm fine, Velana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. All right. Let me out and I'll take you home. The Darkspawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. I don't know anything, but take this key. It opens a chest in the emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. They're coming! You have to go! Find a way out of the mines! Please! I can't just leave you! Sarani! Wait! Hey! That's mine! That thing has my things! It's got its sallow, clammy hands all over my doodads, touching my junk. No one touches Argrin's junk and lives! You're the Warden Commander. I would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? I had hoped you would avoid capture. Would be luckier than the rest of us. I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead or worse. There's no sense in regret. You must escape. The Darkspawn have some kind of plan for you and it cannot be good. But listen, there is a Darkspawn here carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died trying to make this world better. No, I will only slow you down. Please, do this for me. It is all I ask. You are not supposed to be here. 
Once. I made a deal with the creatures, and they set me free. I bring them supplies, they give me gold. Vigil's Keep? Hmm. That is the Grey Warden's Keep near Amarantine. Yes, I know it. If there is coin to be had, Armas will be there. We will meet again, if you survive this place. Stop. I have to think. There must be another way. The home of the Children of Stone. Yes. They say Wardens can sense Darkspawn even deep beneath the ground. I would join the Grey Wardens. Give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep. I will not leave Sarani's fate in the hands of a stranger. I must seek out these Darkspawn personally. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? Ma Siranas. Shall we go then? I've had enough of this place. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose... you know... in your travels... Splendid! But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the Commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> oh, kind of you to notice. I that was my work. The name is Dworkin Glavenock. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> you have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations. It's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but 
sounds too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real larian sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. I, Commander. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Take this pouch of coins in return. But now I'm off to Vigil's Keep. Do you remember me? The merchant from the road. I've made a deal with your mistress Wolsey to provide some new stock for the other merchants here. Make her bless you, sir. I do not know where you found them. The Canari seems especially dubious. But the Vigil's market is busy once again. This will certainly aid in our upcoming efforts. With the surplus in the treasury, I took the liberty of getting you this. Well done, Commander. Seneschal Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Lady Liza Pacton demanded this audience, quite loudly. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My fam... My family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a serious matter. Danella, a soldier of the Vigil, abandoned her post and was caught three leagues away. She is charged with desertion. Even if it were not a time of war, the penalty would be death. I asked the old captain several times to release me from my oath. The Darkspawn are too near my family's farm. They need me, my lord. I'm no coward. You dishonor everyone who serves the Vigil. You think you are alone in having family under threat. The men are afire over this one. Danella is an accomplished scout, but desertion could destroy the army. The Commander has spoken. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well, I place my trust in you. The Commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. This session of the Arling's Court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Commander. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrene. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be.
She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. I see. This... This must be about Keenan, then. I... Um... Sweetheart, could you give us a moment alone? Is... Is Keenan dead? He said that, did he? His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? He was gone for months at a time, often with no word. Was I supposed to wait forever? He forgets that I'm a living, breathing woman, not just a symbol of something he's fighting for. Love can only take you so far. You're back! Have you any news? Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I hope the culprits have been brought to justice. I promised a donation, didn't I? Here, take this. With the Merchant's Guild's compliments. Well, I, um, oh, I suppose we could spare a little more. It was a pleasure to meet you, Warden Commander. Dead. Kristoff's doing, maybe. That answers that, I suppose. The Darkspawn are definitely here. Interesting. A new form of Darkspawn? Why would we suddenly be seeing new forms of Darkspawn? This isn't even a blight. is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. The mother, she is no prophet, but she is most clever. Oh, yes, that she is. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. to the fate as well. It cannot be this. The mother, she has deceived me. I am betrayed. Can never trust my mother either. Now I am being trapped in the fate with you. Ah, I am the fool. I am thinking the mother, she cares not what happens to the first, so long as the Grey Warden is defeated. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the mother. You, you're not a spirit like everyone else. How did you get here? 
This is where my grandfather's ashes are buried. I come to visit him often. He was the last person to stay in Black Marsh. Once he passed, there was nobody left in the village who remembered. Remembered what happened to the village, of course. The marsh was full of people once. Then that evil woman came and changed everything. She... Oh no! They've come back again! Quick, come hide in the crypt! And so you came, fell into my little trap, to think. My entire existence I have sought a mortal mage to possess, and now one walks right into my lair. Hmm, you do outnumber me now, it's true. Clearly you mortals are not frail. Very well. Let the Baroness have you. I shall feed on whatever remains. <laughs> Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? Trapped? Then you're just as we are, locked in this endless nightmare. We've been here so long at her mercy. I almost forget what it was like before. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. If only that were possible. The mansion will not protect you, fiend! Come out and face your crime! We aren't afraid of you any longer! The witch hides! Break down the door! Be cautious, my friends. The Baroness has power within her lair, and she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? I cannot say what a Grey Warden is. But clearly you are a stranger. Perhaps it is a sign. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk. And now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. She took our children and used their blood to work dark and evil magic. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. We've been trapped ever since, still under her rule. This spirit knows the Fade. If we help him, he might help us. I think that since the Baroness trapped these people here, that she's our best chance of getting out. Tell me, stranger. Will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus, your aid would be most welcome. From the world of mortals, as are all these people. We lived in a village in the Black Marsh, and the Baroness ruled over us. That was so long ago, it seems like a dream we once had. We finally rose up against her evil, and this is what she did to us. I can't even imagine what happened to our families. Has it been so long? How many years have we been held here? Take heart, good woman. Justice will see you avenged and freed. Will you help us, stranger? If this wrong is to be undone, we will need your aid. These good people have been held in the thrall of this sorceress for too long. I seek to free them. It's been a nightmare that seemed to go on forever. Until Justice arrived, we didn't even know this wasn't real. I can no longer stand by and watch. The sorceress has fled into her lair. But a reckoning is called for. We must act, stranger. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. Ooh, a direct challenge. I like the sound of that. Less talk, more killing. They just said she was an evil, powerful witch. Do, do we really want to antagonize her? Hmm. Well, there's a thought. All right, you convince me. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? Good people, we take the battle directly to the witch. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to reclaim your freedom!
My, my. All that shouting outside, and now you finally decided to barge in without even a proper invitation. Foul sorceress. You will release these poor folk and submit yourself to justice. Justice? Is that what you're calling it? What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it. Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. What's this? The pathetic fools have managed to recruit yet more sympathizers? We are no longer alone, Baroness. Your reign ends here. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the Mother will pay for her treachery. Instead, I should have chosen you, mortal. We must be ending this. Now! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Slay them, and you shall have the reward you requested. Enough! The battle is joined! No! You fool! Why haven't you defeated them? They are too much. It must be sending me back through the veil. Now, before it is too late. Oh, I will sunder the veil all right. I'll send them all back. But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No. No. What? Where am I? What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is a mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. I... no. That will not return me to the Fade, I think. I... I do not know. The witch sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. You misunderstand. The Baroness... She is not as mortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now? That is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. I do not know why I am in this body. It was not by choice, I assure you. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. But if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. So this is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems, so immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. 
I have crossed the veil. The spirits will watch in envy as the mortals of this realm bow down before me. That will not happen, demon. Ah, it seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. Is that so? We shall see, won't we? And so, it is done. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this... Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are... they're difficult to see. But... he was a Grey Warden? He was... slain by the Darkspawn. The one called the First? I... I did not mean to enter this body. I did not intend to follow you through the Veil. Only the darker spirits, the ones you call... Demons desire to come here. My kind has no such desire. Yet, here I am. It seems I am at a loss. I know nothing of this world, and have only a few memories of this Grey Warden to draw from. I do not wish to die. What shall I do, mortal? You seem to be a creature of good character, and you are of this world. Can you advise me? The demons seek out the dreamers, those mortals that come to the Fade, and they draw sustenance from their memories. My kind has no such compulsion. We feel sorry for you mortals, trapped as you are in this dismal place. But now, I am trapped as well. Alas, I have no purpose here. No goal. You mean continue this mortal's mission? As a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly, and the ones that commanded it yet live. To avenge his death. Yes, that would be a purpose. Very well. I will join you, Grey Warden, if you will allow it. That is not my name. I have no name. Only a virtue to which I aspire. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice, and for now I am pleased to travel at your side, Grey Warden. Mother? It comes with sweet news, I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked wardens. They killed the first, killed him, cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? <laughs> dead? No. <laughs> Peace. I wished him. Peace, to find the song again, to hear the sweet call. We are all lost, but the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Even for me. Thank the Maker you arrived. 
Things are getting out of hand. The Darkspawn are everywhere. You can see them from the city walls. But the Commander will spare no soldiers for our protection. Grave times, Commander. The common folk are getting desperate. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Varol, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. We will not be... Let the commander speak. We must take the keep. To be safe. Quiet! You expect... The commander speaks sense. I'm going home. Wait! Truly well done. That was, well, inspirational. I don't know how you did that. Men, stand down. I'll be in the keep. Well, that was... close. For a moment there, I thought I was really about to join the Legion of the Dead. I might have cracked a rib, but it's hard to be sure. Everything hurts. I'm sure they intended to turn me into a broodmother. They do that with females, and Darkspawn are nothing if not predictable. Anyway, I can't chat for long. I should probably go back, as foolish as that sounds, See if there's anything I can do. The old fortress of Calharol. There's something going on there. I think the Dark Spawn are breeding an army. The Legion went to investigate, but Calharol proved too much for us. It was a massacre, and now I. I'm the only one left. When I saw my friends cut down, I. I got scared. I fled. The Darkspawn have changed. They're smart now. They destroyed the Legion. I saw them taking some of the women, and I wasn't about to stick around for that. There are many things much worse than death, and birthing Darkspawn day and night is probably the worst. But if the Darkspawn are really breeding an army, I can't stay here. I have to do something. Ah, oh, that's convenient. The Ancestors must have had a hand in this. I'll show you where Kalharal is. Safety in numbers, yes? Excellent. With your help, destroying this nest is no longer impossible. Merely improbable. Oh, an optimist then. Let's not waste time. Kalharal awaits, and Darkspawn, when left to their own devices, get up to all kinds of nonsense. Ah, Kalharal. Heard about it once. Mostly Smiths and Artesians here. Built of marble with lyrium in her walls. Beautiful beyond compare. And just like all the other tags, lost to the dark spawn a millennium ago. I don't know much about Kalharal, except what the others from the Legion told me. It used to be important. A center of learning for the Smith cast. When the fortress was lost, a lot of what the Smiths had learned was lost with it. They've never built anything quite like Kalharal since. <sighs> It's Juka. He's hurt. Bad. S Sigrun? Yes, it's me. Be still and try not to talk. No. I feel my death upon me. And it is a sweet release. No! I have bandages. I can help. You must listen. The the brood mothers. They're breeding. I saw an, an army. You. you must. you must stop them. But. but. beware the children. They are abominations. Even among Darkspawn. What? What children? Whose children? <laughs> Forgive me. Ancestors look kindly on you, brother. 
We have to finish what the Legion started. Those brood mothers need to be destroyed. Poor sod. Never thought I'd see the Legion so thoroughly trounced. What was that about brood mothers? A hive of tits and tentacles? <laughs> Sounds like a party, and we're invited. The Legion got this far with no trouble. We got careless and complacent and stormed the main entrance up those stairs. It was a disaster. The Darkspawn were waiting. They turned the Tide's old defenses against us. And more. Ancient Dwarven ingenuity. Used by the very monsters it was intended to kill. We need to learn from the Legion's mistake. Avoid the main door. Most of the old Dwarven fortresses had hidden side entrances. I bet this one does too. We just need to find it. Did you see that? It wasn't just me, right? Oh, that moldy cheese I ate, right? Defenders of Kalharal, who were born castless and died warriors. What? We can't do that? The castless aren't warrior castes just because some high and mighty historical figure said so. Ah, maybe we should find someone to take this back to Orzammar. They'll have the last say. Thank the Maker. It's a relief to see someone who isn't one of those... monsters. Please. For the love of all that's good, let me out. I couldn't stand another minute with these creatures. I'm not one of them. I haven't gotten the disease or whatever it is. They kept you alive. That's odd. And what's a human doing down here anyway? Oh, I overheard Colbert talking about the chasm, and I thought I'd sneak in past the duck spawn to see if there was any treasure. Well, I... I found something in this place before the duck spawn caught me. You thief! What you have belongs to the dwarven people. Well, they weren't here to defend it. It's not stealing if they've abandoned it. You can have it if you let me out. I don't want it anymore. It's caused nothing but trouble. Please, no! <laughs> <laughs> The architect sends many, but does not come himself. He is a coward. I will kill you, and he will know that he has failed to destroy the love. He will know that the mother will tear him apart. <laughs> You are no darkspawn! What trickery is he planning? You will die! As all who serve the Architect will die! The Mother demands it!
did it. And you're... you're still standing. I was not in the thick of it, but it seemed to me that some of the Darkspawn were battling their own kind, even helping you. Good. It's not just me, then. Something has changed in the Darkspawn, and I don't think I like it. Well, it's something to ponder. Especially when you need to be reminded that impending doom is always right around the corner. Oh, I'll probably disappear into the bowels of the Deep Roads, never to be seen again. One good thing about the Deep Roads is that you never run out of Darkspawn to fight. Go? With you? But that would go against my vow, and my plan to disappear into the Deep, unmourned and forgotten. Be a Grey Warden? Is that allowed? Can you be both part of the Legion and a Grey Warden? And I'd be more effective at killing the Darkspawn, won't I? Ha! How does one say no to this? I will follow you. You seem an alright sort and I'll be better off with you at my back than alone. Let's go then, the Darkspawn await. Cal Herald lost! The lost is lost! Lost, 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 Mother, be calm. Calm, yes. Once I was calm. Once Mother listened to the beautiful call, felt it wash over her and inside her, and she was calm. But now there is no calm. Father took that away, and now he takes away Cal Herol. My poor pets in Cal Herol. The father knew I would send them against him. The father feared. <laughs> Cal Herol is gone, but the mother still has her tricks. Many, many. But what will the mother do? Do? I will laugh! <laughs> and then I will wait. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. This is iron. Very high quality. Amaranthine abounds with mineral wealth. Master Wade has more than he needs to equip all of your men suitably. Thank you so much for finding all this dreary metal. Haran, you must be happy. Ecstatic. Now, now, no more time to waste. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Splendid. Truly splendid. We've enough lyrium sand to keep us busy for a long time. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> what do you be needing? I, Commander. Aldrich, come over here. No, I'll be. We need to send this home, brother. Orzammar must know how the Castless of Cal Harol acquitted themselves in their final hours. Castless bearing arms. Oh, that'll go over well. Those castless are heroes. It must be recorded by the Shaperite. Thank you, Commander. We'll see this is delivered into the right hands. Commander. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Sigrun, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. You chose her well, Commander. She will wake shortly. You're back, eh? What's it like out there? Darkspawn crawling all over? Thank the Maker. Meek has been afraid to move from his spot since he lost a stupid thing. Sorry, couldn't go without Lucky Deerfoot. Thanks for finding it. 
And now we're getting away before the Darkspawn arrive. Good luck to you. Commander, many of the Lords have gathered. The Darkspawn have fielded armies, and the nobles want to know how you will protect them. Shall I assemble them? Or do you need more time to strategize? I will send messengers at once. We've waited enough. Those who are late will just have to be filled in. Lord Edelbrecht, this is the commander of the Greys Council, not yours. What will you do then, Commander? I've lost whole villages to the army... Army of Darkspawn! This is no... Commander! Commander! What is it, girl? A Darkspawn army is within sight of Amaranthine. Make her protect us. They're attacking the city? Amaranthine has been undermanned for weeks. She may not last long. Our forces cannot move quickly enough. But a small band might make it in time. But that's... suicide. We must try. Fighting a horde of Darkspawn with almost certain death awaiting? Don't even think of leaving me here, Captain. Who do you want to take with you, Commander? Initially, I thought you were utterly mad to invite me to join your order. But redemption? A man could die for that, and feel good about it. Who else will you bring? We will cut down all Darkspawn before us, and I will learn what they have done with my sister. Who else will you bring? As it should be. Our foes will pay heavily for their transgressions, this I swear. And so it is decided. Don't you go dying on me, Commander. That's the Legion's job. I'll make sure the Vigil's Ale supply is safe. <laughs> Leave a few Darkspawn skulls for me to kick in, right? Oh, I miss out on the suicide mission. Oh, life can be so unfair. But, uh, good luck. Chin up and all that? The rest of us will stay here. Make her protect you and hold you close, Commander. Please, Grey Warden, save my family. My family's in the city. Please calm yourselves while I speak to the Warden Commander. Warden Commander, I am glad you arrived when you did, but I fear there is little that can be done now. I failed in my duty, but believe me, Warden Commander, there was no chance for success. A couple of nights ago, a swarm of... Of gruesome creatures emerged from beneath the city. They spread pestilence and destroyed everything they touched. Then at dawn, the other Darkspawn attacked. Warden Commander, it's too late. Amaranthine is lost. The buildings might remain, but there will be few survivors so long after those creatures appeared. Their corruption is so virulent. At least a quarter of the city succumbed within the first day. Constable, there is a Darkspawn approaching, alone. Archers, take him down! Peace, do not be killing, only talk. Architect has a message for Grey Warden. The Mother's army, it marches to Vigil's Keep. She attacks now. The Architect, he sends me to warn you. You must save the Keep. Then finish the mother in her lair. The architect wishes to have the Grey Warden's trust. He does not wish to see the mother succeed. 
If we leave now, we may be able to make it back to the Vigil in time to save it. And what about the Darkspawn here? Soon, they will go to Vigil's keep as well. The Mother, she wants the keep destroyed utterly. Uh, the Darkspawn has a point. We cannot leave with this other army hot on our heels. The Constable says the city is lost. I say we destroy it, burn it, and all the Darkspawn within. Warden Commander, we have already lost Amaranthine. We can't lose the Vigil as well. Commander, we can't save Amaranthine if it's already lost. We can still save the Vigil. Destroying others to save ourselves is not righteous. I don't want to see fire ravage these streets, but it may be our only chance. It would take a miracle. I will follow your lead, Commander. We cannot afford to lose the Vigil and the Grey Wardens. And what humans are left here are lost anyway. I... No. I understand. Let us pray that the Keep can stand on its own. No, no! If you stay, the Mother will get what she wants. Amaranthine, then. The Darkspawn are never disorganized on their own. Something must be leading them. If we eliminate the Darkspawn leadership, we can go about finding survivors. Good luck to you. And make her watch over us all. Warden Commander. We've received word of another wave of Darkspawn approaching the city. They will be here within a day. Most of the survivors are taking refuge in the Chantry. The militia has set up a base of operations there. You can rest and resupply there. In the meantime, my men and I will search for more survivors. Warden Commander, come quickly. The Darkspawn is still breaking through. The inn! They're coming from the inn somehow! Make her bless you, Warden Commander. Commander, the Darkspawn are retreating. We haven't heard much, but what we have heard is... not good. The Architect's messenger has given us directions to the Mother's lair. We must pursue her. The messenger... said the Architect also planned to kill the Mother. I do not know what to make of that. Commander, what should we do with the messenger? It shall be as you say. Make her watch over you, Commander. I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sereni. Oh, thank Mythal, you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me, and tender. And he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. The Architect has freed them, and they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? Sorani, they killed our friends, and so many others! Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. 
They just need to be shown how. No, I have work to do. The Architect is waiting for me. And for you. He will explain everything. You will see, as I have seen. No! Don't go! And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain... myself. Fate, however, intervened. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your order. A misunderstanding? Did you not attack the Grey Wardens? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated, to break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform, similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves, they speak, they act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. Kill this creature now, lest it make things worse than they already are. Do what is right, and do not waver. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Help me kill the Mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. I was born as I am, an outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? 
Without choice, there is only one path before them, and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. No! The Architect is a visionary! Don't be foolish! But we could have stopped this cycle of Blights and Old Gods. How very unfortunate. But I cannot blame you. You are as bound to your nature as we are to ours. I am sorry, Uther. It appears that I will not be able to keep my promise after all. You will have to forgive me, Commander, for fighting to preserve my destiny. If it isn't the hero of the hour... The Slayer of the Mighty Father, come to claim a reward. <laughs> oh, what a delicious day. This is the Mother, surely. A disgusting thing of evil and hate. What is that? Creators preserve us. I have never seen such foulness. Am I not beautiful? <laughs> Grey Warden come now to slay the mother too? Will she join the father in oblivion? Answers? My, but you are brave. Once, beautiful music sang to us from the deep, called us near. We would search for that voice. But the father, he was flawed. He heard only a twisted shadow of it. He hated what it did to us. He said he wanted to free us. But all he brought us was silence. Ah, dreadful silence. But now the father is gone. The mother can take her children deep into the earth and care for them. Safe and sound. Then the silence ends here. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Ah!